gold that brought my family to this town, and gold's the reason I stay here. But it's not the same kind of scruffy, shiny gold they dig out of the ground over there, up in Giant Mine. No, my kind of gold is a different kind of gold. My kind of gold moves in the air. It almost breathes, like it has life, just for a minute, and then it dies again, gone forever. My kind of gold are like little nuggets. My gold are the sounds of the north. <laughs> For me, they're more precious than diamonds, and sometimes even harder to find, and definitely even harder to keep. But what are these sounds of the north? I've got my list, and I bet you guys do as well. For me, there's the sound of the ice cracking in the deep winter, or when it candles so gently in the spring, or the first call of the robin when the snows go, so warm and welcome to our frostbitten ears, or the rich dialect of the raven, or the wind on the shore and the waves. Or the trees when they finally get their leaves, when you hear them far from any road or traffic, when you get out of the, uh, the airplane system around here. Actually, look at the trees, look at the color. Green gold, my grandma calls it, the first green of spring. Growing out of the, the dirt we have up here, to be totally truthful, doesn't have a huge amount of nutrients, but still, it's giving life. Black gold, my grandma calls it. Nothing else for the price that it costs to ship the really good stuff up from down south. <laughs> I bet you guys have your list too. The sounds that you find up here that you won't hear anywhere else. So there's even sounds of the people, of the languages, and the stories that we've heard already tonight, the stories that we'll hear from now on, and the music that we have, that's part of our soundscape. Whether it's a caribou skin drum or an accordion brought all the way from Russia. <laughs> The songs we sing too. When I was young, I walked the river far under the pine and willow till I heard a little brown bird. Little brown bird, here's what I heard. Chick a dee dee. -dee when I was young, I had a lover. He was full of idle chatter. talk and I would listen for When I was young I traveled I left my feathered friend behind me but even where the stars were strangers, his long-lost cousins still would find me and sing. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So now that I'm old and much wiser, I know how to listen softer to the songs along the river of gold and silver. I can hear them paddling out is actually something I'd like to ask you guys to do is actually take a minute to just listen to the soundscape we have around you. So even now, <laughs> let's actually just take a bit of a, an exercise. Since we're in my, my golden and sonic environment, let's move our ears around just for a minute. Let's take a bit of a walk. So stay really close first of all. What can you hear that's really close around you? Just listen. Move it out a little farther, just around the shore here. What else can you hear? Look around. And even farther still, put your ears out to the horizon. Thank you so much. Thank you. 